Welcome back to part three and a half. That's uh, a weird thing I know, but I just wanted to talk you through a lot of screenshots. Uh, this is the first one. It's me with a weird formation for Denmark because I'm playing lots of friendlies, as you might know when I'm clicking through this first one. I lost against uh, Spain. Um, they have a great team, or they had a great team at this time. I fielded uh, the normal players, the same players that went through the qualification, and uh, this was one of the friendlies played while other teams were playing their uh, qualifying playoffs. You can see that England, Croatia, Portugal and Scotland made it to uh, the World Cup. So we've got the draws here, Denmark's group, we've got uh, Cameroon, Morocco and Russia, so that's great for us, not too hard. And then uh, the other um, groups that you're going to see, it's, it's uh, the playable nations, Italy, Spain, and also um, England, of course. Um, so uh, I think we're in for a great World Cup. Now I also watched a few uh, other matches. Ajax versus Rangers, that was an interesting match because it had two of my players up against each other, or actually three. Ole Tobias and Michael Lautrup on the Ajax team. Lautrup even scored the goal. And then the other Lautrup, it's brother against brother. Um, right, so next match I had. I tried a different formation in order to uh, try out the Lauter brothers on the wings rather than as wide midfielders. Didn't go all too well, so I probably w won't um, do that again. Um, Guardiola, he's out for the World Cup and uh, out for nine months. That's a bad injury and that might happen in games like this. For my next match, I tried this weird team, it's a lot of players from the Danish league, the Superliga. So, um, uh, and Bo Johansson did that in real life, and that was how uh, Søren Kolling made it to the World Cup, because he impressed in those games. This match I lost, though. And the next match, I feel that this team, a lot of uh, players that are, that were playing in foreign clubs, but who won't make it to the World Cup. So we've got um, Pia Fadis now for a month. Um, of course, injuries might make it necessary to use some of those players from the second tier, I guess, but um, uh, we've got uh, Thomas Helwig on a free transfer. Yeah, uh, after playing for Udinese, his contract ran out, and in the real world, um, um, AC Milan scooped him up. Well, then we've got um, our star player, Peter Schmeichel. He won the Premier League and the Champions League and claimed the main of the match in the final UEFA Cup. Lazio snatched that from um, from Ajax uh, in the final. And then uh, this is my short list. Lots of players who were a near miss to the, the selection. And this is the actual selection for the World Cup. Same selection as Bo Johansson did in 98. So um, we've got the right players. But um, as you'll see, we've got some injuries. I didn't choose to replace Goldberg in the squad because... Um, He'll be ready during the World Cup. So the last friendly is this one. And, well, I recorded a little bit of it, but it's really not that interesting. So uh, I sped it up a bit um, because it ended in a goalless draw. And this was the last, um, the last friendly that I had before the World Cup. And I'm a little concerned that we're not getting a lot of goals. Um, and that's... Uh, that was all of our matches, so I, I'm going to try something a little bit different. Uh, also because of, well, because of more injuries that we got, and you'll see. And that's just something that can happen, right? So, um, the first of which, the first of those injuries, um, that is, uh, so I'm calling the guy from uh, the Superliga, he's out a couple of weeks. So he won't be very important, in, at least in the beginning of the World Cup, and probably not at all. But the worst thing is Martin Jorgensen from Udinese out three months. And that's a deciding factor for how we're going uh, to um, field the team, I mean, in terms of formation. Goldberg is back, but still not all that ready. And now we're ready to begin the World Cup. It's already begun, actually. Brazil losing to Argentina. And those teams are really were really great at the time, well, as they always are. But uh, you can see the Brazilian team here and, and how they're fielding their players. And the same thing with Argentina. 
Um, I'll click you through a few more games from the beginning. Norway losing to Bolivia. And we've got uh, France winning comfortably against uh, the Nigerian team that that Denmark famously beat 4-1 in this World Cup. Um, and that was a great French team that in, in the real world they went on to become uh, the world champions, of course. You can see them right here. Um, and uh, Nigeria, also some great names. But anyway, we're ready for the first match for Denmark. Are you?